recommendation for anybody who has this type of microwave because it is ridiculous. I could not find anything on the web about this. But yeah, just a random fact of the day. So yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's like about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday, the day after Christmas. I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas. We really didn't do anything. It was just me and my kids until like 6 or 7 o'clock at night. My family finally came over. Um, I have some family that's out of town, so they really didn't come you know, to visit us, but that's okay because we were able to spend a little bit of time with them. And um, yeah, we didn't really do much. This morning, we all woke up late. Um, it was like about 10.30 when we finally, you know, decided to step out of bed. But behind the scenes, we have been doing the shed. So hopefully soon that video, I keep saying this, the video will be coming up about my shed. I'm so excited. The shelves so far look amazing. And I'm so excited because it turned out way better than I could have imagined. So I'm very happy. But um, yes. I was so excited though. I got for Christmas, my husband got me this tiny little microphone that I can just clip on myself so I cannot wait to, you know, play around with it and like see how it works because it connects to my phone and I'll just be able to talk on it when it's clipped on me because my car is very loud. I apologize for every time I'm in my car. It's just my Jeep is a lot louder than your usual Jeep due to my Jeep having an exhaust system. Um, so when my Jeep turns on, it sounds like a truck. It sounds like a truck when you turn it on. And it's a lot louder when I, you know, press on this, <laughs> on the accelerator. Um, because of that, sometimes I feel my voice is drowned out by the back noise of the car. And I hate that. I have to play with that a lot when i am editing the videos and i just want it to be a little bit more quality i feel like every few months i'm gonna try to you know step up my game trying you know um this is still all new to me so i am trying to get the hang of all of this but yes i just wanted to catch you guys up i hope like i said everybody had an amazing christmas and um yes i will talk to you guys a little bit later i'm gonna go get something for the kids to eat for lunch and then i have to head to work okay guys i have a random thing for you guys we're over here trying to fix our freaking microwave because for some reason it like the latch part right here got stuck and it would just not close the door so if you have a low profile whirlpool um this sides up to take it out after you remove you know the screws that go on here and then if this part right here is what got stuck inside you can actually just grab one of these l keys after you take this off me and my husband just have been here like for almost an hour now and you can stick it in here in the back and there's a little thing back here and you'll be able to pop it right back in place where it's supposed to be um i thought this would be some nice information for anybody who has this type of microwave because it is ridiculous i could not find anything on the web about this but yeah just a random fact of the day so yeah <laughs> hey everybody what's the day thursday i forget the days i live sometimes i swear um it is thursday it's like 12 30 in the afternoon i am about to get ready and take off all of my christmas decor i was planning on keeping it until after the new year but I was watching somebody's vlog and they were like, yeah, I'm taking all of my Christmas decor now. I want to re- how do they say it? I want to start my uh, New Year's, you know, fresh. So I was like, I do too, you know? So I'm going to do that now. I took actually all of my uh, work uh, Christmas decor down yesterday. So they are nice and fresh and ready to start the New Year as well over there. But um, it's time for me to do my home. So I'm going to go ahead and take off all the Christmas decor right now and uh, pack it away um, and clean. Not deep, deep clean, but clean. Why I'm doing it? Because New Year's Eve is on Sunday and I work this rest of the week. So I know I don't have a lot of time on my hands to do any cleaning. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put all the decor away. Um, and what else? can't remember what's the last thing I vlogged. I probably showed you guys a clip about my microwave right here. Um, we have the... What do they call it? The um, low profile. Yeah, low profile whirlpool. And I love it. I love it because if you 
dirty and she's a little dirty um she's small but you're never gonna put you know like a full-size turkey up in that thing you know so i wanted a low profile one because it's not so down on your stove like regular you know over the top um stove so i really wanted that but the other day it just it went crazy on me it made this weird noise and um the door would not close so me and my husband together you know two heads are better than one <laughs> went up in here and opened it um checked it out and noticed that the latches had like i don't know like they had got stuck I want to say stuck yeah it wasn't electrical it was definitely the the piece had gotten stuck but um it did take us like about an hour to figure out what was going on and once we did it is working perfectly fine like you just saw right now i um press the door the button and it opens before this would go don't 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 like that and it would not do that so now it does that and i wanted to show you guys real quick because i swear i scabbard i scavenged i looked all over the internet and i could not find a video to help me how to take that thing apart or show me like if this happens you can do this like nowhere so I thought that would be nice for anybody who has that type of problem you know can go back into my vlog and be like oh I remember Liz was talking about that so yeah but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started on making some food for the girls and yes so let's
The mess that you make while cleaning Christmas decor up is no joke. It is all over the place. All right, so I am done with the entryway. I've taken everything down here. I've done both of the shelves, TV, and the tree is gone. So I'm just waiting for my curtains to dry up and I'm going to move the sofa back once the curtains are back in. I'm also thinking I'll be changing my curtains soon just because I don't, I'm not no longer feeling, you know, how they look. Um, I also am planning to move the anchors up higher, but I need to purchase some thicker ones because the curtain rod that I have at the moment is kind of thin and I don't really like that. I need it to be a little bit thicker. At the beginning, I thought I wanted them, you know, this low, but now because of this, you know, arch right here, it made it difficult for me. But now I'm thinking I just want to cover up the arch and just bring them up higher. So yes, that will be something for the future for me to do. But yes, I'm going to continue with cleaning because I still have a lot I, I've done here, but I still have a lot more of the white snow everywhere else that I need to pick up. All right, so those finally dried. I went ahead and put them up. I finally moved my sofa so it's now back in its place. And I think I'm just not gonna put my accent chairs back here. I'm gonna leave them over there in the um, dining room this time. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm also gonna leave this bench here, maybe. I might move the bench like right here and put some things around it. I'm not quite sure yet, but I'll think about it. I like the space and with, um, Lisette constantly playing her oculus she needs room and I just hate when I hear her like crash into something <laughs> so I would hate for her to get hurt so I like the way this looks right here it also looks a lot more bigger when you're like coming in through the door hold on so you walk in and it's you know bigger I have a very small living room so I have to try to make the most of, you know, my space. So I'm kind of liking this at the moment. I'm also planning on a new rug too, because it's kind of small now that I've left it like this. And I think I'm moving this one into my room. 
Okay, so this is where I have everything stored at the moment. Um, once I finish, you know, put everything away for Christmas. This is not its permanent space. It finally has a new home and we are actually headed over there. But I'm not going to show you too much because I am working on the shed video, which will probably be coming right after this vlog. So I don't want to show you too, too much. But this is also, you know, unfortunately how <laughs> my garage looks at the moment it is something that will be in a video because i do need to organize so i think that would be cool so you guys can see you know how i'm going to organize all of my stuff because i have like diy station um mechanic and electrical stuff like not to electrical but like I'm trying to think like you know your hammers your 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 drills your saws all of that it's like on that side and it is a little messy but it's my organized messy garage you know i know where everything is it is it <laughs> is at but yes let's go ahead and start taking these to its new home walking back and forth a few times that actually gets really tiring but did i ever show you guys all the tracks that were left in my yard after they came and cleaned out the tank yeah it looks like there was a race back here or something and now every time we're walking there's like these huge <laughs> dents yeah i think that driver was near or something because it took him forever to get out of my my big old gate and it's a 12 inch gate i made it big enough for the same reason because i wanted them to be able to come in and out with no problem and this young man <laughs> he had a problem trying to get in and out and he fit perfectly fine it's just i don't know but yes we are done with that and actually i'm going to start working on viviana's nails so let's go do that good morning no good afternoon oh my gosh i just got off work i swear um but yes i wanted to come down here real quick and wish everybody a happy new year i hope that everybody has an amazing upcoming year i hope that all the goals you know you have in mind for yourself i hope you accomplish them i know myself i have many many goals for next year and um you know many things in mind and things i want to work on things i want to change um but yes um Yesterday I was supposed to show you Viviana's nails and I wasn't able to do that. She decided not to do her nails after all. Um, fun fact, I used to do nails a long, long time ago. And um, I stopped just because of the smell and um, the fine powder. It just, my allergies are so, so bad that it would just bother me so con constantly. And I just had to, had to give it up. But now that my daughter is getting into nails and stuff and she wants her nails done, um, I'm getting back into it for her. And um, I took off her Christmas set and I was going to do a New Year's said and she decided not to um you know her school break is coming to an end and she doesn't wear acrylics to school so she wanted to give them a rest you know so they look good going back to school but yes i just didn't want to end the vlog abruptly i was like oh let me show you viviana's nails and then that never happened so i was like ah uh, <laughs> yeah but yes again i hope you guys all have an amazing year and i will see you guys in my next video bye